Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Jade Empire. So last time, I got the flyer and the maps. And I think we're back at camp now. Let's see. Let us see. Yeah, it looks like we're back at camp. So. There we go. Looks like we're finally going to get out of this f stupid fucking TN's landing place. Did you just crash? Oh, okay, I was about to get mad. <laughs> Looked like it crashed for a In minute, the past, I've shared the company of others that moved outside traditional paths. But this band of folks is by far the most exotic. Why are you... You looked at me as you said that. What are you trying to say, Sky? Actually, you took it the wrong way around. You seem a bit more conventional than, say, Wildflower or Zoo. The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. <laughs> so we can assume Sky is hiding a part of himself that doesn't ram its foot into its mouth? Really? You're not letting me click? I certainly hope that part's in there somewhere. Look, I didn't mean to say... Anyway, I meant no offense to anyone. And I'll just leave it at that. Weird that you just started talking to me right away. Anything else to say? Something's on your mind? Uh... Was weird. What do you know about this area that we've been stuck in for the past 500 fucking hours? I only spent enough time in Tien's Landing to learn the location of Gal the Greater's stronghold. We may have already had this conversation. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm sorry if it's in the last video and I'm doing it again. It's a nice enough place, though they're still adjusting to the flooding of the old town some years ago. Any thoughts on what we're doing? When you say the word, we're ready to leave. I'm looking I'm forward ready. to seeing the Imperial City again. I appreciated the hectic pace when I was there. I am so ready to get out of here. When we reach the Imperial City, we'll have a whole host of new problems. You have to love a challenge. Do you have a minute to talk? We were talking about Gao earlier, but now isn't really the time to finish that conversation. Right, I guess we... Give me a bit to digest what's happened, and then I promise to regale you with the story of how I found him. Alright. I guess that's it then. Always happy to help. Okay. Um... Yeah... Probably already talked to everybody. I'm just... Yeah, no one has a thingy over their heads. That's it! You have everything you need. Just let me know when you want to go, and we'll set the marvelous dragonfly to flight. What do you think about our current situation? I think we're waiting around for nothing. We have the inscrutable power source, the wind map, and the flyer. The Imperial City won't fly its way to us. Finally, someone talking sense around here. Well, of course, of course. But time is better spent doing than talking. Tell me about yourself. I found my way to Tien's Landing quite by accident. A very big accident. A few wealthy merchants lost some, um, property. And I almost lost my hat and my head. Gao the Greater heard about my inventions and bribed some officials to effect my release. I thought I had found a nice rich benefactor, but I was locked away in his lair. He gave me a nice workshop, but he really was a fool. I showed him my wind map. He didn't care where it led. He was only interested in his slaves. You have a wind map? Where does it lead? It shows where I've been, 
not where I'm going, I think. I made it on my journey to, uh, here. Uh, but I don't quite remember where I was traveling from. Hmm, not good. Yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It seems to me I left something, a clue for myself, but I'm not sure why I'd need to. I, I don't suppose you'd be interested in taking a short trip back the way I came? So you really don't know where it leads? None. And I am very good at remembering things. Mm. At least I think I am. I can't remember for certain. The map could lead anywhere, so we should let it. Alright. Let's go. Well, uh, let's see then. It must lead to where I was last. Which would be the ideal place to go first. Keep an eye out. I don't know why my tracks were covered, but I do tend to incur the occasional death threat. <laughs> the craters are remarkably unappreciated. Oh god. One of these again. I hate these. I'm not very good at them. This looks familiar. See, look at this. Keep going. Look at this nonsense. I, I, I have the urge to build something. <sighs> Just stay away from me, enemies. There are memories in the route we are flying. <sighs> Keep going. Oh, yeah, health. I see patterns, schematics. Keep going. I'll I'm hammer it out. I am so bad at flying in this game. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, bombs everywhere. Almost there. Just a few more pieces to figure out. Okay. Alright, I'm overreacting a little, I guess. Oh no, it's a bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know why, but I never was good at those the first time I played this. You received Cloudburst. Our flight was great fun. Lots of explosions. <laughs> but what does it mean? I, I think it's a clue. I hit something in my head because I was going to lose my memory. I think. One thing for certain, there was no destination. We ended where we began. The route was the important part. Let me show you what it inspired me to make. It's a... well, it's um. I'm not sure what it is, but it has a lever on it that is begging to be pulled. Okay. That should be interesting. Here we go! And... nothing. Right? We're not dead, I think. That is decidedly disappointing. I was expecting... something. I... I must still need a part I can't remember. I need some time to think, to get my brain straightened out. This is most intriguing and infuriating. Give me... G give me some time. Okay. That's all for now. Yes, yes. I'll keep up my plans for the dragonfly. Perhaps a sling for carrying oxen? The industry could use some automation. A dying breed, the ox carrier. All right. So I'm going to save really quick. Just because I did something. Save. There we go. And now it's time to go out of TN's landing. It. You have everything you need. Just let me. Yeah. Let's go to the Imperial City. Yay! Good, good. My beautiful dragonfly will finally get a real test. Let's hope those modifications hold up. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna try attack. And hopefully I don't die. That last one wasn't so bad, so maybe this one won't be so bad. Let's see. Ah, haha, I shoot you all. Okay, 
looks okay so far. But, you know, it is the first thing that they threw at me. Oh, it's an upgrade! Now my gun shoots two thingies. That's cool. Ah! Bombs everywhere! Okay, that wasn't bad. Have you seen anyone matching the description? The Lotus Assassins are getting impatient. They were very vague and wouldn't answer my questions. Are they even sure of who they are looking for? Does it matter? Death's Hand himself seeks this one. Do you need any more incentive than that? Just question everyone. This person apparently caused a lot of damage in the South. What is... Here, what about this one? At least it's a woman, like they said. You! Identify yourself! By order of the Emperor and the Lotus Assassins, state your name and purpose for being in the Imperial City. I am a simple traveler. We are questioning everyone who has arrived in the city recently. You bear a resemblance to someone we are looking for. I don't know. The hair may be similar, as are the wrapped hands and the reddish clothes. It's not enough to be sure. So they gave you a description of my clothes? We could hold her anyway. It's not a good match, but the Lotus Assassins would leave us be for a few days while they question her. Is there a problem here, Captain? Well, is there... Hello, Silk Fox. No, Princess Leanne. We were questioning this traveler by order of the Lotus Assassins. There is no need to pursue this questioning any further. You may go. My apologies, Princess, but I was ordered to detain anyone even vaguely matching. Captain, this woman is here on a personal matter of mine that does not concern you. Do I make myself clear? Y yes Princess Leanne. Then unless you wish to be transferred to the Wall, you will leave and continue your search. <laughs> These animations are just silly sometimes. Well, we meet again. I've watched your progress. It seems I underestimated you in Tian's Landing. I have no doubt that you will make as much of an impact on the Imperial City. Hmm. Uninteresting, guys. By which name should I refer to you? No guys, I assure you. You have the honor of addressing Princess Leanne, the Heavenly Lily. It is, as you can see, customary to bow in my presence. <laughs> A common greeting, but I require an explanation. Your explanation lies in the simple bow you have given. Everyone around me kowtows low, obeying my whims. Honest opinion is rare. That is why I often travel without official escort, and occasionally present myself as someone less bridled by the rules of the court. You understand why I don't go into detail here in the street, don't you? With what I have to tell you, I don't want to lose that option of disguise. <sighs> well, what information do you have for me? Not here. I trust my personal assistants to keep their tongues, but this matter is best discussed in private. I will not speak the location aloud. Take this note. We will meet nearby. But I must have a moment to acquire more fitting attire. Uh-huh. 
rendezvous with the princess, such a scandal. That is quite enough. We will continue this at a later time. We both have questions that we will need answered. <laughs> Did she faint? <laughs> I am certain that my entourage would prefer what? that this take place in private. Your gruff nature is a bit too much for them. Wow. <laughs> I wish there was just something neutral I could say there. I don't really want to see either of those things. Uh, I'll just say this. I'm sure they are heartfelt. Yeah. Get up, you lot. Go I'll be yourself. embarrassed for myself, thank you. Save your false modesty for my father's court. Don't be too long. My message concerns your master, and time is very important. I don't remember her being such a bitch. Maybe she gets better? It would not have been proper for her to award it to you herself, but Princess Sunlian requests that you accept this gift. She looks forward to your next meeting. A weirdo. Oops. Okay. No, that's a good thing. Wherein the Imperial City is revealed, Silk Fox reveals her station, and the Lotus Assassins are infiltrated. The marvelous dragonfly bears you away from Tan's landing toward the Imperial City. The fall of Gao the Greater and Assassin Lim will have far-reaching consequences, and your enemy will not let your actions go unanswered. Terrible forces gather ahead, and as you draw close, they will leave their mark as surely as you have left yours. Done. There we go. Stupid thing. Alright. Looks like this is my new camp, and everyone is full of things to say. Alright. So let's start with Zoo. What do you want? I trust your plans go well. Despite the dangers you face and inflict, is there something I can do for you? What do you think of our current situation? I think it's unwise to trust the Emperor's daughter. She acts without regard for her station, but she is a slave to it like we all are. What other truths might she have missed? She may have good information for you, but I suspect she has her own agenda. Be careful. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Alright. I will answer if it suits me. I want to talk about what Inquisitor Lim said about you. That is... an old wound. My departure from the Lotus Assassins was not gentle for either side. My immediate companions, those who were my brothers, fell by my hand. Lim was not among them. He would have died if he was. I was labeled as the one who deserted, and I am occasionally recognized. The result is always the same. Another death. More blood spilled. Such a waste for a hatred they cannot even understand. It's be difficult to regret the death of so many. Regret? I have no regret for killing anyone who challenged me of their own will. Death is a measurable cost of your actions. Some earn it sooner than others. Strength is the way of things. And death is the end, or should be. Some do not respect either. They have enough of one to defy the other. Enough of which? Strength or death? Does it matter? Denying someone strength is to place yourself above that person without merit. Denying death is to step outside the natural order. Both are harmful. I did some harsh things while with the Lotus Assassins, but they no longer follow a path I recognize. They are a mirror of Death's hand, and he embodies corruption. You will see as you get close to him. He draws out the worst in everyone and displays it for all to see. hand will fall like any other. You'll see. You have no concept of the devotion of his followers. 
Perhaps we will talk again when I see more of where your path will lead you. For now, you should continue your search for a means to reach the palace. Your master will be waiting. You keep saying stuff like that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, what do you want, Black Whirlwind? I trust your plans go Oh my well. god. Despite the dangers you face and inflict, is there something I can do for you? I didn't try to talk to you. But I guess you have something new to say for some reason. What are your feelings on the Imperial City and how powerful are the Lotus Assassins here? They are as powerful as fear allows them to be. Not the specific information you were looking for, I'm sure, but you did ask about my feelings. Yeah, yeah. If their tactics have not changed, everyone fears them as children fear the shadows, never knowing what might come. <laughs> you claim knowledge, but share nothing. I have no further interest in you. kind of like that it's sort of like Dragon Age Origins dialogue where you get you know just kind of a list of options and you know it's not necessarily the good one or the bad one or the neutral one or whatever like they do with the, you know the dialogue wheel in Mass Effect and you know Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition but unlike Dragon Age Origins they don't have very many choices, and that's kind of annoying me. Look, I don't really want to say either of these things, but I'll just say the closest to what I probably would say, I guess. So. Well. They sound more like outlaws than an arm of the Emperor. They are not outlaws. Their orders come from Death's hand, and he is the will of the Emperor. Alright. At least, sound pretty that is angry how it about was that. meant to be. Pardon my outburst. Every act of the Assassins has the approval of the Emperor. We were supposed to reflect his glory. That is why some actions should never have been ordered. Are you referring to the incident that prompted your exit? The Lotus Assassins were once the Order of the Lotus under Prince Kin, spiritual advisor to the Emperor. During and after the attack on Dirge, changes were made. As flames seared the sky, enemies of the Emperor faced a new threat, Death's Hand. He assumed command of our order, and we began silencing people. Some were killed only to serve his warnings. Others... Others had done nothing except be near his enemies. Hey, Condor Live. I didn't want to talk while he was talking. But good to see you again. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I like the look on her face there. She's like. <gasps> Simple murder is a waste. I am no stranger to death. That alone is not enough to disturb me. But I see only weakness in targeting innocence peripheral to the real enemy. Weakness suggests losing the right to rule. Can you see how that shook my faith in the Empire? You seem to see why I had concerns. Perhaps you might understand. I have not said everything, and I have not yet decided if I will. But I see something in you that may set things right. We will see. For now, what else do you need? That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Didn't even mean to talk to you. Just trying to talk to Black World and get over here, you bastard. Um, I wasn't really being polite, Connor. I was more like just. Mm. I just hate when people talk through dialogue when they're playing a game. It just bothers me because I want to hear what the actual characters are saying. If it's a story related game, otherwise it's acceptable. What? What do you want? What are your thoughts on our current situation, Black Whirlwind? 
Well, the city has everything you could ever want. Fighting, money, wine, and... Um, there was something else that people like, but I can't quite remember what it is. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come to me once I've had a few bowls of wine. Let's get something to wet our tongues. That sounds gross. Just Women! The way you phrase that. That's the one I forgot. <laughs> I must be getting sober if I'm forgetting that one. I'd like to hear more about your past. Like, what a fucking weird thing to say to someone. Too much talking and thinking can be dangerous, I should know. I remember one cold winter I took a job clearing rats from a local monastery. I was supposed to make sure the pests stayed out of the sacred pools, but hunting rats one at a time is boring work. So I had an idea. A way to catch them all at once. I convinced the monks to give me some of their sacred wine, and I filled the sacred pools. I figured if I could get the rats drunk, they'd be so much easier to catch. Ah, this should be good. Nothing happened at first, so I helped myself to the wine. I passed out before the rats came. In the middle of the night, I was woken up by screaming monks and fiery explosions. It was just the rats. The poor furry buggers were just trying to get warm near the monks' fires after their swim in the wine. Not a good combination. Wow. That is disgusting. The monks wanted me gone. I might have deserved the blame. But the abbot insisted it was a sign from the gods and closed the monastery. See what happens when you think too much? <laughs> that is by far the most stupid thing I've ever heard. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see what Dawnstar has to say. The Imperial City. I'd always heard how impressive it was. The stories didn't do it justice. I feel like I'm a long way from home, and I don't even know where home is anymore. What do you think about what's been happening lately? We just have to keep going. That's all we can do. It's not really an answer. Alright, what did you want to ask? Do you know anything about the Imperial City? I've only been here as long as you have. I doubt I have any information you would find useful. Alright. Alright. What did you want to ask? You're pretty useless right now, but... Yeah, I guess that's it. Goodbye. Don't go too far. I'd get lost in this city. I know it. It said you had something to say, but you didn't. It was weird. Okay. Well, let's see what Ho, Henpecked Ho, yeah, that's his name. Henpecked Ho. Let's see what he wants. Hello? Why can't I talk to you? Hello? I can't believe my luck. I arrive home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives. <laughs> <sighs> I thought you'd be happy about that. I am very happy indeed. Instead of dying upon my return home, I am free. Until she returns, of course. So, why did you become a bun master if you were a master fighter? You're beginning to sound like my wife. Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the questions. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's nubile niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. My disapproving dove did not care for my drinking, or for my friends, or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, be more respectable. And so you became a bun master? 
At first I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was not a woman to be crossed. Prior to one fight, my duplicitous Daisy drugged my wine. I don't remember much of what happened next, which is fortunate. From what I hear, it wasn't very pretty. Hmm. I guess you survived? I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy to settle down. I don't want to know. As to why I became a bond master, well, it's a hard, thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. Tell me more about yourself. So awkward. Like, why does she phrase it that way? Just ask a question or something. Just tell me about yourself. Hmm. Not now. Memories of my wife are difficult to bear. Especially when I am here and she could be so far, far, far away. Okay. What are your thoughts on our situation? We made it this far. How hard can it be from here? From what I've seen, you're more than capable of handling anything we're likely to encounter. Alright, that's all for now. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. The gate. Alright. And let's see what Sky has to say. Always happy to help. What do you need? Uh, where are my options? There we are. What are your thoughts on their situation? I don't know about you, but if a member of the Imperial family were leaving me gifts, I'd be mighty curious to learn more. Then again, the Scholar's Garden is full of more hot air than some flyers, so I can understand your reluctance to rush there. What's on your mind? I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here some time ago in my hunt for Gao. In fact, this is where the hunt began. <laughs> it's just... These body animations when they're talking are so weird. I've come full circle, and I think it's time to let go of the past and look forward. We have exciting things ahead of us. thought of all these nobles and their fat purses is making you giddy. There won't be much time for that sort of diversion, but I can't help see the potential. <sighs> In my heart, I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit now. Whatever happens, I have that. And if we succeed, I know she finds peace. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now, and... While I treasure the past, I look forward to the future with the same warmth. You realize you may not have much of a future if you follow me, right? Bah, we'll find a way through any troubles. We're too resourceful to roll over and die. You know, I look forward most to the day when I figure out how to deal with you. What? A woman as strong as she is beautiful is rare, but I've encountered that combination before. Normally, I try to flatter you into my bed, but you... Weird thing to say. You're better than that. You're a companion and a damn skilled warrior, so I find I never quite know how to deal with you. All of these options are weird. See, now you're flirting with me, and I'm left here stammering. Are you? You look very... you sound very stammering right now. I don't deny your beauty. I just don't want to treat you like I would other women. I respect you, 
And, well, let's just leave it at that for now. Coming from a dude I literally just met. That's just... Alright. Um... Yeah. What am I doing quest-wise? Let's see. Um, okay. Good enough. Yeah. So, Sky is actually my only choice as far as men go in this game. I could go with Silk Fox, but she's kind of a bitch, and I like dudes in real life, so. Probably go with Sky. Even though he's being a bit of a weirdo. Like, I don't know. I may have talked about this last time I played, but there's this, um,. This thing that Bioware does with some of their romantic interests, and it's um, it's been named Karth Syndrome because it started with Karth in Knights of the Old Republic, and it's that a lot of the romance options for the female player characters end up being a dude with either a you know, like a dead wife and a dead child, or a dead wife and estranged child. So, it was that way with Karth, Sky, um, Thane in Mass Effect is another one. So, I don't know. Kind of interesting. People make a big deal of it. I don't really care. It was just something that someone noticed. And thought it might be interesting to bring up. If I brought it up already, I'm sorry. I haven't played this in a while. Uh, do, do, do. Gem of Foresight. Did Silk Fox actually say where to meet her? I don't know if she did. Commoner. Commoner. Girl. I don't care even if there are ghosts. The Emperor is stronger than all the ghosts put together. Hmm. Uh, where am I going? I've heard rumors of a young hero making quite a stir in Tien's Landing. Young hero, making quite a stir. Tien's Landing. Golden Way. Ah, so creepy. District of sorts. Yeah. <laughs> Just run around smashing things. Yeah. Channeling my inner link. I greet you, my lady. I wonder if you might have some silver to spare. You don't look like a beggar. I come from a very wealthy family. As such, I have a certain lifestyle to maintain. Parties, female admirers, lots of wine. You understand. Oh, fuck off. I have to have an income, don't I? My father looked at my considerable expenses and told me to get my own silver. So, get a job. Ah, but I am a noble. The shame of manual labor or the stink of trade must not be allowed to touch me. You're a bit pathetic. 
Not at all. Very simply, you have it, I want it. I am behaving in a very rational, civilized manner by politely asking. I read all the greatest philosophers and consulted with wise men before reaching this decision. I assure you the philosophical underpinnings are quite sound. Wisdom is only gained by experience, wine, women, and song, as it were. But a life of revel with no reflection still does not lead to true wisdom. One must ponder, one must daydream. Even if I could bear the shame of sullying my hands with work, when would I think? How could I grow wise? So you're begging in order to pay for that sort of behavior in order to become wise. Well, it loses some of the subtlety when you put it that way, but yes. All right, you can fuck off. If you feel more generous later, I will be here. Your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. Huh? You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. What? Are you a... Attempting to insult me? What? Your breath is like the wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. Um. All right. What are you doing? Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. Are you done? You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. And who the fuck are you? An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. He balks at our attempts to calm him, and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. There are several pe pe people here. Why is he any different? The Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the Emperor himself. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe. But that will not last. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. <sighs> Maybe he can be reasoned with? That's what's so infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand, and then declares himself the winner. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Sounds annoying. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned. But they tire of his presence, too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. Maybe if I have time. Well, that is not the conviction I was hoping for, but no one else has been able to help, so it will have to do. At your convenience, then. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, I hope you will prove to be a worthy opponent. up in my cords here. Oh, I thought that was a pot, but it's a dog. I was about to kick it. <laughs> uh, 
See, I would feel bad about that, but it's a little dog, and little dogs don't count as real dogs. There, I said it. They don't count. If you can step on it and accidentally kill it, it's not a real dog. It's just... Not... Hey! Ooh, I leveled. Hey, didn't notice. Level up. Yes. There. Thirteen style points. Very nice. I don't do chi damage. Just do this. Yes. Perfect. And save. Yes. Open the hostel, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This place reminds me of expensive wine. Lots of. Oh really? I I read a sign and you stop talking. Okay. That's weird. So next time, one of my party members talks to me, I'll remember not to read. Doesn't look like there's a lot going on here for being such a big city and all. Scholar's Garden, this is where we need to go. I didn't expect you in your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. I should have seen it coming. I suspect that we share a similar strength. <sighs> so what do I call you? As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, or you are. There was something familiar about him as well. He's familiar because you're related. He's son Lee. Why would you say that? Is that what he told you? I'm sorry, but I simply cannot believe that your Master Lee is the glorious strategist. Well, doesn't matter what you believe, because it's true. Sun Lee died 20 years ago. Everyone was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the Empire. Now, it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Lee and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. Well, destroying Death's Hand is also a priority to me. A wise decision. His hold over my father is nearly absolute. But if we could show conclusive evidence of his crimes, my father would have to listen. I know how. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. 
Death's Hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire, and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. Well, tell me what you know about the wall. The wall was started by the first emperor, Sagacious Qian, as protection against the Horse Lords. The Empire has long since grown past its boundaries. It is now more a spiritual monument instead of a physical barrier. Every emperor has added to it. It is a legacy that has lasted millennia. And who actually does the work? Prisoners of the Empire. Hard labor reforms them, and contributing to a legacy gives them purpose. Many respected citizens once worked on the wall. And tell me what you know about the golems? I don't know much, but I saw one lift a stone no human could move. It looked immensely armored. The Lotus Assassin Fortress seems the center of production. All right. Well... Golem factory can't be small. What if we just found it? My father may have approved the factory without considering what it could be used for. If we just tell him my suspicions, he will dismiss them. We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting. But I've fought a number of them. They will recognize me. Have any Lotus assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tien's Landing. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. Alright, get on with your plan. Let's just see how ridiculous it is. There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. My people can spread rumors of your interest. The Executioner will take a real interest when you finish the Silver Round. Or, if you prefer, the Inquisitor Recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. Why do you know so much about the Lotus Assassins? Death's Hand rules over the Lotus Assassins. So I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. You suspect my motives? You have no reason to doubt me. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them your name. <sighs> okay. Well... I'll see what I can find out for myself. Yes, I will have my people spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the silver round, the executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Or, if you prefer, court the Inquisitor. Ask scholar Dong Gao in the Scholar's Garden about him. I hear Dong Gao is closer to the assassins than he should be. Unless you want me with you, I will wait at your flying machine. You travel with such interesting peasants. I'm sure I'll be entertained for hours. You know what? Fuck it. Come along. This is your stupid plan. You're gonna help me. A wise preference. No offense intended to your amusing companions. Alright. Oh, and she wants to talk. Let's see what she has to say. Hello again. I enjoy our little chats, but I don't think anything has changed since we last spoke. I still need evidence against Death's Hand to free my father. Meet the Executioner in the arena, or speak with Scholar Dung Gao in the Scholar's Garden about the Inquisitor. Hurry, or you'll lose your chance to help your master. All right. I want to ask more about this evidence that you want. We've gone over this. Death's Hand is using the prisoners who should be working on the wall to construct some sort of personal army of golems. 
My father probably knows something, but not the true danger of it. I need to show that Death's Hand intends to seize control. The Lotus Assassins act for Death's Hand. There has to be proof of his evil intent in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. That is where you need to go. I want to ask you something. Why has your servant given me a gift? Did you like it? I thought you might want a little assistance. Consider it a small token of my favor. Hmm. Appreciate it, but I don't quite trust you yet. Can I not simply want to give you something? Does my noble birth not give me the same right as any other to... to show favor? It is difficult for one of my rank to give gifts, even one so simple as what I gave you. A princess is not normally allowed to show favorites. Then... why take the risk? Better that I give it away before Death's Hand carts it off. He has been quite brazen. Okay, fair enough. Besides, it was mine by birthright to do with as I wish. Must I always be dictated to by tradition, despite my respect for it? Sometimes I want what everyone else has, to be myself. <laughs> Generosity is part of my character from time to time as well. It is more than most men will show for you. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? Well, either way, thanks for the gift. You are polite at least. Too many men just take what they can while they can. Perhaps we women are more civilized. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're hitting on me. But the price I may pay for helping you could be greater still. I am destined for the throne, destined to rule the Empire after my father, but... That will be meaningless if Death's Hand keeps his hold on my father's mind. I fear one day he may try to... interfere with the Imperial succession. Or perhaps convince my father that he should be Emperor by marriage. Your flower would only wither and they- what the fuck? The fuck? Well, it- none of this really matters since I will kill Death's Hand soon enough. You still underestimate his power. But one way or another, we must stop him. I'm sorry, I've ruined the mood. We should continue our talk another time. First, we must expose Death's Hand, reveal his treachery and manipulation. Okay. That sounds good. I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. Okay. Was that what she wanted to talk about? Probably. I don't see that exclamation point over her head anymore. Oh, I can't smash that one? Oh, whoa. What? Well, look who we have here. There's no princess to save you this time. Oh, or is there? Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Don't look at me. I can't do anything right now. Not like this. Yes, you can. We'll teach you to insult a guard of the Imperial City. You can help Long me sword. kill them. Yeah. Or can you? Are you as useless as the rest of my party members? Maybe not quite, because you're still alive. So I'll give you that. You know, you're... I'm good with you so far. Alright, let's go... Ooh! A thingy. Yeah. Free XP. Scholar's Garden. Okay. Huh. Isn't the Scholar's Garden where that one dude was supposed to be as well? But he wasn't okay. Interesting. Um. Ah, uh, my foot just fell asleep. Ah, uh, god, that's annoying. Ugh. Alright. This. Oh, I must have already read that. No XP for me. Check my map. Oh wait, that's 
that's not the map, but I keep forgetting. Okay, to the necropolis, to the market district, theater, pavilion, scholar's garden. Should probably go to the market district, I guess. Or I haven't even been to the necropolis yet, though, so maybe I should go there. Or can I? Hold on there. This way leads into the necropolis, a dangerous area. You shouldn't go in there unless you have some business there. Okay. Well, what's wrong with the necropolis? Ghosts have been rising up everywhere in the Empire, I've heard. So many have come up in the necropolis that it just isn't safe anymore. It would take an army of us to clear them out. If we could do it at all, we can't even safely post a guard in there. We just warn people away. The Lotus Assassins want everyone kept away as well. First time I've heard of them being altruistic. Hmm. When did all of this start? Things have been bad over the past few, um, say five years. No one has any idea why so many of the dead refuse to return to the Wheel of Life peacefully. All we know for sure is that they're not happy. Not happy at all. And why aren't the guards doing anything about it? Ghosts have been rising up everywhere in the Empire, I've heard. So many have come up in the necropolis that it just isn't safe anymore. It would take an army of us to clear them out. If we could do it at all, we can't even safely post a guard in there. We just warn people away. The Lotus Assassins want everyone kept away as well. First time I've heard of them being altruistic. Okay. And how bad does it become? Bad. Real bad. Monks used to go in every few weeks to clean out the ones who had risen. But lately it's become too much for them to handle. You look like a warrior. I'm sure you know that even if you disperse a ghost in combat, they reform again eventually. It takes a long time, but it's inevitable. Leave the dead to their own is what I say. Just block the whole place off and start again somewhere else. Okay. That's all I need for now. Stay away from the necropolis. I wouldn't want a pretty girl like you getting hurt in there. Aww. Okay. Oh, who the are humanity you? of it all! Oh, I wonder if this is dude. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I was just muttering to myself. I'm in some trouble and... Wait! You! You could help me! You're clearly not from around the Imperial City and I need someone's help most desperately. Someone unaffected by the politics of this place. <laughs> Step away, smudged one. Alright, well... What's up? Well, you see, there's been a mix-up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play! I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of me. And if not, you have... now, I suppose. One of my productions has been touring the countryside and catching people's attention. We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here in the Golden Way. Okay. Sounds like a good thing so far. What's the problem? The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key piece of the play has been rewritten. Doesn't that sort of thing happen all the time? No, no, no! Well, yes, but not like this. They've changed it from a commentary of man's inhumanity to man to a satire of the Empire. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the whole point of the piece. <laughs> Why should I care? That's the type of option that my boyfriend would pick. But I'm a little bit nicer than he is, so I'll go with this one. Not to mention... Certain factions frown on satire of the Empire. 
There's that too. Anyone could take offense. Now I'm doubly concerned. <laughs> of course I would pay you. In fact, I'd match. Uh, well, this is odd. What's odd? It's just that there's no going rate for female actors or whatever you'd be called. It's unheard of. All uh, right. Typical. Oh, by all the heavens, I would never presume, madam. There are female actors, but the establishment turns a blind eye. Another tradition I'd rather see abolished. They deserve that much respect. I hear the bosom binding, pants stuffing, and whatnot is a far cry from comfortable. Oh my god. Yeah, they shouldn't have to put up with that bullshit. The irony is that many of them get cast as female roles. Fresh faces, you see. Leaving us with a woman playing a woman through four layers of costume. Most unsightly. I myself have pushed long and hard for realism. Verisimilitude is the word they're throwing out these days. Of course. And what better way to avoid all that unnecessary shirt stuffing? Alas, tradition often becomes a barrier blackened by short-sightedness that is not easily overcome. Well, if you're asking me to pretend to be a man, the answer is no. I don't think such drastic steps will be necessary. We have the desperation of directors on our side here. I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man, just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and Money? read the role the uh, original way. You have a most regal bearing, so I'd expect you'd have no... Well, no major problems, at any rate, acting the role of Lady Fourteen Flowers. If you talk to First Degree Thespian Fong up by the pagoda, tell him you're the replacement actor. He'll be desperate, so all you'll have to do is read the proper lines. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty fun, so fuck it. Yeah. Here's a copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal, I assure you. This copy reads properly, not like that edited pile of dung. Hurry over to the large pagoda overlooking the Golden Way, and tell Fong that you're the replacement. They won't wait forever, so step quickly to it. All right. Remember, you'll have to memorize your lines. No scripts on stage, of course. Also, make sure you read from this script. Now good... No, you're about to perform, so I shan't jinx it. Get to it! You're a boat to perform. You are so Canadian. So Canadian. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, my boyfriend and I were actually having a conversation earlier. He was taught, like, he's from the UK. And he was talking about how much the English and the French hate each other. And he said, it's like, it's like the US and Mexico. I was like, well, eh, we don't really hate each other. And then he was like, well, it's like the U.S. and Canada. He's like, no, we don't really hate each other either. Excuse me. You're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, there are definitely people in the U.S. that hate people from other countries, but, you know, it's not really a, much of a thing. I just thought it was funny. All right. Well, you know what? I'm your replacement actor. You? You're the replacement? Yes. By the starry river, that is the best makeup job I've ever seen. We'll barely have to touch you up to play Lady Fourteen Flowers. And let me <laughs> like just how it doesn't say, make a sound. your costume makes everything look very... Uh, authentic. Yes, yes, well, good job. Pervert. Did they give you a copy of the scripts when they sent you over here? Yes, is this it? Oh shit, no, I probably shouldn't. I should probably tell him no, actually, because then he'll look at it and see it's the original version. Damn your guild's myopic planning! Luckily for you, I expect the worst from them and pulled a copy from the back. Here, take it. The script's recently been revised, so even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you head on stage. Why was the script changed? Well, 
A southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. Tweaks? We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions, and here we are. <laughs> your voice. I'm sure your Actors Guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for a lead, especially since this is short notice. Ruin your scene, and you get nothing. Just like normal. Understand? What do you consider ruining the scene? Just get at least half the lines correct, and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that, and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. Mm -hmm. Now, read oh, that yeah. script over. Come talk to me when you've got it, and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. I forget this is before hipsters. Alright. Let's check out... Can I actually look at the scripts? Plot items, maybe? Oh god. Ah, here we go. Original script. And then the Jade Emperor's expansion occurred because Serious Tune. Heavens reaching out to the Empire. Oh god. I have to like I have to look more into it. I do like that it gives me a choice. I could just do the the edited version or the original version. <sighs> Let's see. I'll just go for it. Oh, script's done. Seems you have only a few lines for this scene. They're mostly reacting to the other actor. Six lines to remember. Spawning the White banners. Okay. Oh shit. I wanted to read the others too. Second half. No, I said second half. Fifth line. Who did the Emperor turn to? I have a uh, sixth line. Shooting star. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Or do I have to talk to this dude to? Do it. Have you read the script? Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. 
That's the spirit. Let's get you into the back and costumed up, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Yeah, yeah. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. What? Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. Oh. All of Heaven's blessings guide him. But sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his light from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves, and lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what word from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Ah, he what is this? Me. Why, it is Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? White banners fly. Peace in the north? Could this be? Have all the horse lords been subjugated so easily? Heaven smiles upon the empire today. Your arrival here is certainly welcome, as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? <sighs> so, I'm really tempted to just completely fuck this up and say silly things. But... I kind of want money, so... Was it reached, or did the heavens guide it to him? Either way, the dusk was slipping in tonight. You phrase that most interestingly, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the North? It's a fucking weird play. Something about the Great Plain, wasn't it? He stood at the edge of a vast plain, the ground covered in snow. Surely you mean the far edge. The Horse Lord camps broken behind him. There's been nothing but uh, the gentle drafts of spring here I in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? Oh, God. Blah, blah, blah. Heaven's reach is wide, but there is not the same in all places. Puzzle. What? Uh, I think it was something about Heaven's again. Who fucking knows? My lady, I sense that there is more to your story than I have gleaned. Perhaps my own perceptions blind me. It seems yeah. to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, who was it that our great emperor turned to? Oh, fucking no. Uh... He turned to the heavens themselves as they had already turned to him. The heavens had turned to him? These words, are they riddles? Yes. Wait. What word is this from the front? The Emperor sends word of his return. 
The Horse Lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, dear lady? A shooting star traced the border of our lands. A celestial event? Most auspicious. And so, our most noble emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies, poised to crush the horse lords and stretch the empire to the ends of the earth. But we stop. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition. And overreaching those limits invites nothing but disaster. All praise the emperor, for his wisdom is infinite. My lady... You have my deepest thanks for bringing this news to us. I shall inform the court immediately. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no trees in there. Oh, the informant will suffer for a lifetime. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. You there, Lady Fourteen Flowers. The crowd loved it. Fantastic performance. You managed to hit every line perfectly. You continue to surprise me. I wouldn't have thought you the aspiring actor. Our sponsor may not be happy with the version you read, but I've always preferred the old version of the play anyway. I guess incisive chorus put you up to this, because I know I gave you the new script to study. <laughs> Good for him. Wow, that was a silly laugh. I believe I owe you an actress fee. Enjoy. I'm glad you were here to fill in. We would have sunk faster than a bottomless boat without a solid Lady Fourteen Flowers on hand. Yeah, it was kind of fun, actually. Rather fun. Now I know you're not one of the guild actors. They're never positive about anything. Oh well, no harm done, I'm sure. The performance wouldn't have gone on without you, professional actor or not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things I must attend to. All right. Money. All right. I think I'm probably going to head back to camp now. Where is my... Thing. Let's see. Map time. Scholar's Garden. Nah. Okay, I think it's the market district I have to go to, but I should probably talk to that one dude who um, put me up to doing the play. Had your uh, moment, did you? He didn't come to watch? I never attend my own plays. No, much too nerve-wracking. Someone goes for me. She is very kind to do that. I heard how it went. Fantastic! The scholars loved it! One's already asked for a copy of the manuscript. I'm sure there will be more. Perhaps as many as three. Here, I promised you this, and you should have it. Yes, that's it. Enjoy, and thank you so much. Oh, well. so much to do. So many, uh, copies to make. Yes! Ha! Yeah, let's see. A lot of people wouldn't do a quest like that. Just, you know, it's a waste of time. Why would I be doing that? But I figure if they're paying you, you know, it's reason enough. And I felt like it, so... Fuck it. I do what I want. Okay, where is the camp? Oh, just straight ahead. Alright, let's go. The scourge of the south has destroyed whole... Whoa. Villages in the south. Many innocents, be on the lookout for the Scourge of the South. It is your duty as citizens of the Empire to report anyone who matches this description. 
Keep an eye out for a young girl wearing red and blue silks. She is quick and agile. Reports suggest that she may be a demon spirit able to change her form at will. Do not try to apprehend the Scourge of the South, but instead report what you've seen to the authorities immediately. You've earned quite a name for yourself. At least they didn't get your appearance right. Let's find out what else they know. <laughs> I just think it's ridiculous they describe me by my clothes. Because I can just change. Alright. Uh, you know what? I probably should do that or else I'll forget. Out of sheer really spite! Quick. The Scourge associates with nefarious fox spirits, aiding them in their occupation of our once pristine forests in the south. What? Where are those mercenaries? Greetings, citizen. Imperial Captain Sen at your service. Are you one of the mercenaries come to help me track down some criminal scum? I might be. If you are who I'm waiting for, you have some explaining to do. Admittedly, you don't resemble the ones described to me, but they're several days late. No doubt they'll blame it on the foolish ghost stories. What criminals do you need help with? Criminals with lucrative bounties on their heads. I need help tracking down a pair of criminals. Are you interested in a little well-paying work? All right. Money. These two scoundrels have eluded my best efforts, so I'm turning to bounty hunters. It's harder to run when your pursuers are not in a uniform. Captain Sen is a well-respected man here in the city, but something about him makes my skin crawl. His ambition is well hidden. Perhaps that's all there is to it. I'm searching for an arsonist and a notorious confidence man. Find and eliminate either one, and there's a standard bounty in it for you. I'm too awesome for standard rates. <laughs> Do you people have some sort of code that requires each one of you to bargain about this sort of thing? Surely this money doesn't come out of your pocket. The Empire won't miss it. I'm not open to negotiation on this, and I've heard virtually every argument as to why I should raise the bounties. Hmm. I swear, you mercenaries want to bankrupt the Empire. Charm usually works. Alright. Commander Shepard responds, I should go. Right you are. Remember to keep an eye out for anyone suspicious. A group of river-faring businessmen Oh, shut up. ...have been attacked and forced to flee. Nobody is safe from this criminal. You know what, I... Poor Chang. If only I had... Why Whoa. haven't I seen any activity among the Lotus Assassins yet? You should talk to the contacts I gave oh, you. Oh, shut up. I'm looking into it. I'm sure you are, but if you did it quicker, we would all benefit. Death's hand grows stronger, and my father grows weaker. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know. But his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding, or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. <sighs> I'll do what I must, regardless of both of you. You don't know what they are capable of. The matter is settled. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. 
Stop waving your arms like that. This is not helping anything. <laughs> he actually Are we goes. Are any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And she's also right. We are no closer to finding the secret plans that Death's Hand has been making. You have to move quicker. Shut up. Go to the Imperial Arena to meet the Executioner, or speak with Scholar Don Gao in the Scholar's Garden about the Inquisitor. You keep saying that. Stop talking to me. I wish you luck. Once you have gained the trust of the Lotus Assassins, we will plan how to proceed. You know what? I'm leaving you behind. Yeah. I was gonna force you to help me, but you are annoying me. So I'll... My blades are yours to command. Ugh. <laughs> that just sounds... Uh, fuck you, Sky. You're lucky that um, Silk Fox is such a bitch. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Because I've been playing for a while. So... Save. Right. What just happened? Ah, there we go. All right. So yeah, leaving it there for now. And yeah. I will continue this later. I know it's usually a while between recordings, but yeah, I'll get to it. I was in the mood for Jade Empire tonight, so anyway, see you next time. Goodbye.